Okay, that was darky. And today we're going to faux paint a terracotta pot. We'll need some craft paint, uh, paper plates to use as your palette, paintbrush, sea sponge, and of course a terracotta pot. So I've already started uh, started this project by painting the base coat. It could be any color you like. Uh, today I chose a chocolate brown. Chocolate is good. And to get kind of a, a faux marbled look or, or whatever, all you have to do is just use a sea sponge. And you just kind of randomly dab it into, the, into your paint. And I've already placed um, a bit of tan, black, red, and gold. And the sea sponge creates a really cool pattern when you dab it, and I'll show you. All you need to do is just dab the sponge into your paint, and then pat it onto your work surface. So I'll start dabbing it, and it creates a really cool pattern, and you, you kind of turn the sponge around. Now if you make a mistake, and you don't really, you know, like this. I'm not too particularly fond of it myself. I'm going to let it dry, and I'm going to brush over another base coat. <laughs> okay, when I demonstrated earlier, don't do that, because that was like fucking ugly. Fail. Fugly. <laughs> so, I started over, I got a new base color. It's all black. And all I did was just paint right over what my error, which thankfully for acrylic paint that dries quickly and voila, it's much better now. So I'm going to use two colors, uh, a red, 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 don't worry about that, that's dry and it won't matter anyway. And I'm going to add some vanilla, ooh, vanilla. Just a little dab, not too much. Even if they drip together, that's fine, because all you're going to do is you're going to dab this sponge into the paint and maybe dab it on the paper so it's not so globby. Or you can even take a paintbrush and, you know, dip it into the paint and rub it on the sponge and then dab it on your work. So I'm going to dab the paint. You got a little bit of, little bit red, a little bit of off white or vanilla, and then I'm going to. It looks a little globby on there, so I'm just going to pat it on the paper. Just tap it on there. <laughs> Doesn't look like a good enough white. <laughs> Here, let me try that again. There we go. And if the paint mixes and turns, you know, pink in some spots, that's okay. Gotta turn your your work around, turn the sponge around a bit. Eh, I don't move that way. And then if you if if you want to mute it a bit, just take the uh, a dry end or you know a spot on the sponge that doesn't have paint on it, and then you can dab it that way. And it kind of gives it a, a bit of a marbled effect. This is the kind of sea sponge you can get at Home Depot for that faux painting. You can also find this at the craft store. And you can, you know, you can cover it as much as you want. You don't have to worry about doing the inside because, you know, obviously nobody's going to see the inside. And if you get yourself, you know, get paint on yourself, it's washable. It's actually turning out pretty decent. A lot better than the first time. <laughs> And I, I'll repeat again, don't brush it like it's a paintbrush, because then that just will ruin the... Looks like I'm just about done. So 
So that's one finished project. You don't have to worry about doing the bottom because obviously nobody's going to see that. But there you go. This, I think, is, is my favorite so far. I love the green. And so it just I mixed uh, a dark green with some off-white to get this kind of uh, sagey color. And then I used the dark green, off-white, and then a little bit of yellow to get um, a tricolor marbled effect. And that turned out pretty darn good, I think. This is something similar where I base coated in the red, as you can, you can see the red, but then I used black to paint over it and then I rubbed it off with a rag to get this kind of antiqued look. Now this only works if there's, you know, an, an, a, a, you know a raised design on it. If there's if there's like a, a carved design, it doesn't really work th that well. But there you go. So if you're inspired by this project, as Terry's grabbing his crotch again, <laughs> and the dog steals your paint. What the fuck? Hey. Did you get any on ya? Like you did last night? Nope.